Hello friends, this is Life Table CRUD operation, with Node.js tutorial series. And in this part, we will show you, how can we add or insert new data, in my SQL table. From inline table, by using Node.js with vanilla JavaScript. In previous part, we have fetched data from my SQL table, and load that data, on web page. In edit able HTML, with remove button, and one blank row for, add new data. So now in this part, we will show you, how to inline insert data using, Node Express application. So for this, we have goes to index.html file, and under this, we have goes to JavaScript code. Under this, we have create one add data function, which will use for send data, to Node application. Under this function, we have to write, first name variable is equal to document.getElement by id method, with table column id, first name data. So this code will use for fetch data, from first name data from, blank first name blank row, table column. Below this, we have to write, last name variable is equal to document.getElement by id method, and under this, we have to write, table column id last name data. So this code, will fetch last name table column data, and store under this last name variable. After this, we have to write, age variable is equal to, document.getElement by id method, and under this, we have to write, age table column id, age data. So this code will fetch, age table column data, and store under this age variable. So here, we have store all required blank row, table column data, under this local variable. Now for send this data to node application, we have to store this data, URL format, in another variable. So here we have to write, param variable is equal to, first name variable is equal to. first name variable dot inner text property, and after this, we have to write last name variable is equal to last name variable dot inner text property. And for age data, so here we have to write age variable is equal to age variable dot inner text variable. Now, we have to write, request variable is equal to, new XML HTTP request object. So here, we have create new instance of this, XML HTTP request object, for send HTTP request to server. After this, we have to write, request variable dot open method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write post method, and in second argument. We have to write URL, so here we have to write, slash add data root name. So this code will initialize, a new request with the HTTP method, and request send to, add data root. After this, we want to send, the proper header information, along with the request. So here we have to write, request variable dot set request header function, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write, content type and, in second argument. We have to write, application slash form URL encoded, so it will send the proper header information. After this, we have to write, request variable dot on ready state change, callback function. This function will be called, when state change, and under this function, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, request dot ready state is equal to, xml http request dot done, and request dot status is equal to 200, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, alert statement, with message like data added. So it will pop up, this message on web page, and after this. We have called, load data function, so it will display latest my SQL table data, on web page. 
and lastly under this function we have to write request variable dot send function and under this we have to write param variable which will send data with http request so here our function is ready now we want to call this function when we have click on add button so under load data function here in add button code we have to write on click is equal to add data function so when we have click on add button then it will call this function for insert data operation now we have goes to server.js file and here we have to create root for insert data operation so here we have to write app variable dot post method with two argument in first argument we have to write root name add data and in second argument we have to write callback function with request variable and response variable under this callback function first we want to store http request data in local variable so here we have to write first name variable is equal to request dot body dot first name variable after this we have to write last name variable is equal to request dot body dot last name variable and next we have to write age variable is equal to request dot body dot age variable so here we have store all required data in local variable now we have proceed for insert data so here we have to write sql variable is equal to insert into sample data table with table column like first name last name age and values get from first name variable last name variable and age variable so this insert query will insert data into my sql table now we want to execute this query so here we have to write connection variable dot query method with two argument in first argument we have to write sql variable and in second argument we have to write callback function with error and results variable under this callback function we have to write response dot json method and under this method we have to write message key with value like data added so this code will insert data into my sql table and send response to client so here our code is ready now we have goes to command prompt for check output in the browser so here we have run this command which will start node server now here in the browser we have type localhost with 3000 port number so here we can see that sample table data on web page in editable table and now for inline insert new data so here in first name last name and age table column we have fill data and after fill all table column now we have click on add button and after click on the add button here we can see that insert data success message has been pop up on web page and after this here we can see that last inserted data has been display under this editable table with remove button so in this part we have learned how to inline insert or add new data in my sql by using node express application in next part we will show you how to inline or live my sql data edit or update or change by using node express application so we will be meet in next part